So here's my digital combination lock. The combination for this lock is one, 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 one. And we're able to get that combination by using the switches on this board. Um, and we're using an AND gate, three AND gates, to get that uh, combination. Um, so the first AND gate is on this side. And the two inputs are these two wires right here. And then the input for the second AND gate are these other two wires right here. And then the output uh, is are these orange wires and they're coming into the input of the third AND gate. Now the input for the first two AND gates are coming from right here, these four green wires. Um, they're coming from these four switches. So the sw these four switches are providing the uh, input values for these two um, these two AND gates on this side. And so then the output from this third AND gate right here is this green wire, and this green wire comes all the way over here, and when it has a high input from that output, it will turn um, this light uh, red. So we'll go ahead and start turning on the switches, and again, this is an AND gate, so to be able to get um, a high output, it has to have um, all high inputs. So we'll go ahead and turn on the first switch and the light doesn't turn on because it needs all high inputs and right now it only has one out of uh, four. So then two, three, and four. So then this light will turn on because it has now, um, it now has all the high inputs um, that it requires to have a high output. So again, this is my digital combination lock and the combination again was one, 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 and it gets that um, it gets that input for the combination using these four switches right here.